continues right now as residents have now gone weeks without any drinkable water. That's because the water plant that's in Jackson was damaged by historic flooding there. And now as a result, 180,000 people are without drinkable water because that plant has a malfunction. State officials have not been able to give a timeline for when this plant will be fixed. There are interruptions in the system that are causing low pressure and in some instances no pressure for Jackson residents. I've been here three hours. There is no organization. It's not fair to the people that's been here waiting. The plant that's been shut down has been struggling there for years. The EPA and FEMA are both monitoring the situation and working to help residents deal with this crisis that is ongoing. The extreme drought conditions in Las Vegas now are forcing the city leaders to make some changes. And one of the things they're doing is they're limiting the size of pools that can be built. So the city right now is currently facing the second driest year in Nevada state history. Las Vegas is limiting new pools to 600 square feet or less. This is all to help conserve water. And some homes there have really built some massive pools. Some of them are more than 3,000 square feet. New homes can also no longer have grass lawns or sprinklers. And now to Pakistan, a country that has been dealing with the worst flooding in its history. And as a result, the numbers are so hard to believe right now. Think of this. More than a million homes damaged or destroyed. 33 million people forced to evacuate. Massive flooding has killed at least 1,100 people to date. And this will give you some added perspective of this problem here. An area larger than the entire state of Colorado is underwater. UNICEF right now is asking for donations, trying to help with this crisis.